Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for clicking on it. I had a lot of fun filming this hack, beauty hack video, and I hope you guys enjoy and have fun watching it as much as I did. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you tried any of these hacks or if they work for you, then let me know in the comments below. And sorry for the different appearance. It's I am making a makeshift intro since I forgot to film an intro on the day I filmed this video. So while I'm editing, I am making an intro. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So the next hack we have, which I'm kind of excited about, is making your hair wavy without doing a ton of work. So what you do for this hack is you need a flat iron or a straightener. I am using the Chi brand. And you take a piece of your hair. It didn't specify how big the piece is, but I'm not. I'm just doing like this much, if you can tell. And you twist it like so. And then it says to straighten over it, and then um, I guess you do it a couple of times, and then it, your hair, when you take it out, should be wavy. So I'm kind of excited because it's just kind of, it'll be a new look for me. I don't really wave my hair. It's either super curly or straight. So kind of excited. So I already, I've been heating my straightener up, so let's get started. So. Take it out. What? <laughs> it looks straighter, actually. <laughs> like, look at. <laughs> All right. Well, that hack was a fail, unless I'm doing it completely wrong. But to me, it was a complete fail. I mean, at the bottom, it kind of twisted a little. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a disappointment. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Okay, so the next hack is putting eyeshadow on your hair, like the hairline, like in the middle on your scalp. And it's supposed to make your hair appear thicker. So we are going to try it. I tried to split my hair, but we have a little bit of white here showing, so I'm going to put some eyeshadow on it and see if it looks any thicker. So, so I'm actually using like a Victoria's Secret palette. I'm getting like the darkest brown I could find on here. Shadow on. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see? I put brown eyeshadow on. I kind of, I could kind of tell that it looks thicker at the top or looks like I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. I'm gonna say this hack is not a fail. It's good. Um, I don't know if I would do this all the time. Kind of makes it look thicker. But my hair is already thick, so I don't need thicker hair. <laughs> so if you're going on to like second, third, fourth, thirtieth day hair, hopefully you're not. That and it's starting to like not smell as if you just put shampoo in it. Then I have a hack for you. You need your brush and a spray, perfume, fragrance type of thing. This one's kind of obvious and super easy to do. But we're going to see if it works, which I'm pretty sure it will. But what you do is spray the perfume on your brush and or the spray. I'm actually using Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. It's a body mist. Um, and I'm going to spray it on my brush and brush it on my hair. So my brush is kind of gross. Or if you just washed your hair and you just want it to smell extra good, then... That works too. Oh my god, it kind of makes my hair smoother, I feel like. Alrighty. Mmm, <laughs> this hack is a total yes. I've never actually done this before, but 
I think I'm gonna start doing it. I like love it. I'm definitely gonna say yes to this hack. I will definitely probably be doing this again. Like before I go to work or wherever I'm going, if I'm going out. Oh, I can't stop touching it. It makes my hair super smooth, which which wasn't in the hack, but I'm gonna make it a new hack. Put perfume on your hair, it'll make it smooth. And it smells amazing. This one's yes. Okay, so the next hack we actually have to clean our, we actually need a beauty blender for this one. And I'm excited about this one because I haven't washed my beauty blender in who knows how long. Um, so I am going to follow the directions and actually see if it will clean our beauty blender like it says it will. So the first thing you'll need is a container that is microwavable because we're going to be putting it in the microwave after. Next you're going to place your beauty blender into the container and you're going to fill it with water. Later on I realize I need more water than I put in right now so just kind of fill it close to the top. Then you're going to need Dawn as a soap. I definitely recommend Dawn because it cleans a lot better than other soaps will. And I just drizzle it on there. There's no exact measurement. And then you're going to soak and squeeze, soak and squeeze, and keep repeating. And as you see, it's already getting so dirty. And it was kind of gross to see how, how much foundation actually came out of the sponge. So, yeah, definitely do this at least weekly. So just keep soaking and squeezing until you find that no more dirtiness is coming out of the sponge. So once the container has gotten all dirty, you want to refill it with clean water again and keep soaking and squeezing. Then you want to rinse off the beauty blender once the foundation or makeup has got, came off of it. Okay, so then we're going to put it in the microwave for about a minute and 40 seconds. Then we're going to put it in the microwave. And here's your clean beauty blender. I am definitely going to say that that hack was a success. My beauty blender is super clean. Cleaner than I ever thought it would be. It looks like it's brand new. And I highly recommend it. This was a total yes. And it takes a longer time than other hacks do such as putting eyeshadow on your hair or whatever but definitely worth it and I remember trying to clean my beauty blender with just water and it, nothing would come out definitely use a Dawn soap and it'll work so I definitely recommend you trying it so the next hack we're going to be doing deals with your nails so if you love painting your nails then this is a great hack for you if it works so what you'll need is your favorite eyeshadow color and some clear nail polish this is actually just from the dollar store and I don't use this eyeshadow anymore which is why I'm using it and the colors in here are really unique and cool for nail polish because I don't have anything like it so this hack will let you make a custom nail polish that you, that you don't have and you also don't want to spend too much money buying it if you already have the eyeshadow so Okay, so this hack is great if you want to make your own custom color for your nails. I'm kind of excited and I think I'm going to be using, I'm probably going to mix a few colors because I think I'll need like probably three of these to make a good nail polish pigment. So I think I'm going to be using this one, it's like a purpley and then over here it's like a dark purple and probably a pink up here or something. So let's get started. Guys, this nail polish hack definitely works. I definitely recommend trying it. So there's a lot of pros to this. One, it's cheaper than buying actual nail polish because I use the dollar store one. And if you already have like an old eyeshadow laying around, it's just a dollar. Two, you get to customize the color, whatever you're feeling. 
you can mix eyeshadows up and create a new color. Three, it dries almost instantly. Like literally as I was painting, it was drying. I was like, oh my gosh. So on that note, the downside is that it does dry fast. You have to like get it even and smooth really quickly. And the last pro would be that it is matte if that's what you're going for. It it's literally it's like a matte nail polish. So if you definitely want matte nails, definitely try this out. Um on the downside of having matte nails, it looks a lot duller and but you can if you don't want it to be matte, you can just put some shine clear nail polish on and it'll be good to go. But I highly recommend this hack. So yeah, I highly recommend trying this hack out. Um, I didn't think it would go on really well, but it did. And I don't, I didn't measure how much clear nail polish I put in. It's just kind of the consistency that you want, I guess, in a nail polish. So yeah, and I just used the top, and I just used the brush from the clear nail polish. I have to wash this off and then put it back in. But this hack is definitely a winner. Okay, so the next hack we're going to be testing is a makeup remover hack where we're going to add only two ingredients into the mixture and it should remove our makeup, which I'm really excited about because I just ran out of makeup remover, so we should see if it works. the mixture and it's a nice smooth consistency a little bit liquidier than lotion but super smooth still so, so about like 10 15 minutes ago I put on some makeup I would just wanted to make sure that the makeup dried so then I can get real results so I have some foundation on some liquid liner and some regular liner for your waterline so we are going to test this heck out and there is oil in it coconut oil and this cocoa oil so your skin might be a little oily but it's gonna make your skin super soft because of all the oil so even if it doesn't take off all the makeup it's still really good for your skin and I definitely recommend it especially like before you go to bed so we'll just see if it takes off the makeup so i'm just going to you can use a tissue or a cotton ball i'm going to use a cotton ball or you can use your fingers so i just take a little bit and rub it on okay it's taken off all the, like the liner that's for sure i still see the foundation on though um, okay Let's try the tissue now. That's so gross. Hey, well, it's taking off all the makeup, so that's good, obviously. The foundation's a bit harder to take off, but it took off everything else really easily. See, it's all off. So, this hack was definitely a success. I recommend it. I know my skin's going to be super soft after this. The actual hack, you're supposed to use No Tear Baby Shampoo, but I used this Shia and Cocoa Butter Lotion because I didn't have any shampoo and this will work just fine. And then I used this cocoa butter moisturizing body oil which has soybean sesame and uh, safflower and it relieves the dry skin so if you have dry skin especially this will be excellent and I have coconut oil of course you can just use these two or just this one for that matter um, but I highly recommend this hack I highly I will definitely be using it and I definitely recommend it <laughs>